Well, hello there, fabulous people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this absolutely gorgeous, no needed bread. This bread takes only about three to four ingredients and it's super easy to make. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Um, if you're ready, let's get started. So I'm going to begin by using three cups of strong flour. To this, I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. I'm adding one teaspoon sugar and also one teaspoon of instant yeast. I'm going to simply mix all the dry ingredients together to combine. Now I'm adding 300 ml of water and also one tablespoon of oil. I'm using uh, sunflower oil for this, but feel free to use any type of oil that you prefer. Now I'm going to simply mix all the ingredients together and it's going to give me a very super sticky dough. Now just take a look at how absolutely sticky the dough is. That is exactly the type of consistency we're looking for. I'm going to simply fold it together and I'm going to cover this and allow it to rise and it will prove nicely for a complete total of about five hours. Now in about five hours later, look at all that lovely bubbles on top of the dough. That's exactly what you want. So I'm going to do a prep, a quick prep for this bread because it takes very few seconds to get on with. So I'm just cutting on the parchment paper. I'm going to keep this to the side for now. Now I'm going to give a very generous dust of some flour on my wok surface and very gently I'm going to glide on the sticky sticky dough straight onto the floured surface. Just very gently, you don't want to lose all that lovely sticky bubbles inside. Now just like you're wrapping an envelope, you're going to pull and tuck. Just pull the dough from the bottom to the top. Just like you're wrapping an envelope, very simply. There's no kneading involved in this bread, so it's very simple and easy to make. Once that's done, I'm going to simply flip it over and place it straight onto my parchment paper. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to be using my Dutch oven pot to bake this bread. So I'm going to place the parchment paper with the dough inside straight onto my Dutch oven. I'm just going to straighten it out very nicely. Then I'm going to cover this and I'll set my timer to exactly 30 minutes. I'll leave it there. 30 minutes later, the dough is absolutely proved and ready to bake. So I've already preheated my oven to 200 Celsius. So I'm going to throw this straight into my oven and I will allow it to bake for 40 minutes exactly covered. Now after 40 minutes, I'm going to take the lid off from the bread. Look how absolutely beautiful that is. Now I'll push it back into the oven and I'll leave it to bake for another 10 minutes just to brown the top a bit more so 10 minutes later our bread is looking absolutely gorgeous and the entire house smells of freshly baked bread i just love 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 the smell of freshly baked bread so i'm going to take this out of the dutch oven and just peel it out very simply just have a look at that guys it is absolutely simple and easy to make. If you tap the back, you would hear the hollow sound. It is easy to make. Now, I like to leave this bread to cool completely for at least one hour before slicing into it. So it's been about an hour or so. I just like to take the first slice and take a look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. I just really like how crusty the top and edges of the bread is. However, 
the inside of the bread is absolutely soft and fluffy and pillowy and that's the best thing about this bread so you get the crusty top and the very soft and fluffy insides which is absolutely perfect i do hope you can try out this recipe sometime don't forget to check the description below it will have all the ingredients in the exact measurements remember to click the like button share this video with your friends and family and if you haven't already welcome to the family do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time with another video goodbye